Hey, love bugs, it's wrestling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to to resonate with the content of my videos and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas you ain't popping if the devil ain't stopping all we face what we face isn't for the weak hearted it's true i know i seen a um a post the other day that's saying if you're not doing things within change you're not doing things at you know a, a very powerful level you know um the devil ain't gonna mess with you you know, and a lot of times we feel like what we're not doing right. Why do people, you know, go all the way out their way, you know, to try to, you know, make me doubt myself. We're always trying to, you know, throw little monkey wrenches in to try to block my blessings or trying to block what my purpose is. And it's just the fact is the devil sees the potential you have. You know, and you have to be at that vibration. It's like, dang, if I got so many people, you know, throwing negative vibrations on me or mocking me for what I do. Or not believing in my dreams and making me not believe in my dreams. I must be doing something good. Because if it's quiet to the point where you can hear a mouse peeing on cotton. Oh, you ain't doing nothing big. You know, I've had people um, where they're doing videos. You know, and they're like, Rosalind, how do you get out of this rut where you're not getting uh, a lot of views or a lot of subscribers? I tell people, look, I'm going to tell you right here. It, it takes a lot of patience for that because it depends on what your content is doing. Now, there's a lot of people that are out there. It depends on who you know, what you know, and what you do. You know, if there's some people out there is like content creators and they got like a million subscribers. And it's like within five minutes, they already got 5,000, you know, 500,000 views already. And you just so happen to know them. And they're, you know, and they're bringing you on one of their videos or a few of their videos. And it's like, hey, you know, go over there and subscribe to them. Go over there, and, you know, and do those videos. Videos. You know, you got all those people going, you know, or these people have been doing it from TikTok, Snapchat, you know, uh, uh, Discord, all these other different things. You know, I, so I've been doing this on six years. You know, I got like 32 and some change of uh, subscribers. You know, I may be lucky if I get like 100 views or 50 views, you know, within that whole day. But I'm okay with that because this is allowing me to know, you know, I'm not going to give up on that because it's like what you're doing. Um, what I'm doing, you know, is allowing me to see, you know, things from a different vibration. It would be times that I would get all frustrated and stuff like that. Like, Dad, you know, I've been doing this for this long. I should have been here or I should have been there or I made my comparison to somebody else. And it's just like, no, what your view in life and where your journey is, is different from other people's. Everybody's is. So you can't compare what you're doing on one vibration you know, to another vibration, don't give up on these things. A lot of times it takes somebody a different time, you know, on different length to be able to go through things to where you, if you want to be an overnight celebrity or whatever. And I tell people it, it, it depends on the content you're doing. You know, it depends on are you doing it from different, you know, do different social media platforms, all these other things, you know. But it's just like if you really are passionate about that, they're telling you don't give up on that just because, you know, it's not hitting all those different things like other people are. Because they always tell you, you never know who these people know, what kind of contacts they have, you know, contacts they have. You never know how many other platforms that they got where they're advertising the different things that they do on YouTube or, you know, any of these other people. Or some people... I know this one um, guy, what's his channel called? Dark and Twisted. I mean, he did some really good stuff because he does his own animation, narr narration, and all this stuff on his own. And then it got to that point where, you know, he was getting demonetized for a little stupid stuff. You know, I'm like, man, I've seen some real dark, macabre type things on certain other channels. And them folks is getting monetized like crazy. But I say a lot of times you don't know. Just because, you know, his stopped, and next thing you know, he, you know, he's advertising that he end up having his own website. Just for having that, he has his own, you know, his own thing where he's, you know, he's getting a lot more attention, you know, on something that was guided towards him to do something better. So you never know where you're destined at. You know, I know, what, what was this girl? 
she took off you know like she she loves to sing you know she's been putting her stuff out there underground one day she took off for self care and she got fired for that she made a video about that she made music about that next thing you know that mess hit up overnight like a million subscribers you know a million views whatever you know was on there and you just don't know you know these are the different things where you're gonna have challenge off a challenge off a challenge you know in my situation I've had death threats you know people tell me you, you know you're you're out of hell because you're black or you're you're um you're not a hell because you're black and you're a female like that was two strikes against me I'm like oh my god you know or people give me death threats because of just my whole purpose of my situation you know bringing other people in just to pinpoint how my quality of my picture ain't good or how how my makeup is this way and this that way you know I've had a lot of negative stuff come towards me you know I had even family you know coming up on my stuff and giving me some crap you know. And I was telling people like, Rosalind, I'm scared I might say something and, and my, my family might judge me. And I said, okay, I'm going to keep it real with you. Is this your truth? Is this Did this actually happen? He's like, yeah. Don't be scared of that. People are okay living the life of their lives, of their illusions, because they painted this whole picture up because they don't want to be seen in a certain way. You allow yourself to embrace your truth. This is how you're healing. This is how... You know, you're helping other people heal. This is something that you're creating that can inspire other people to know they're not alone in certain situations like that. But you are going to go against a lot of challenges in your life. You know, and there's a lot of things like even though with mine is the way it is, I'm okay with that because it's allowing me to challenge myself. Am I going to allow a few views to get me down because, you know, or something I might be talking about that other people just don't want to accept? That's okay. You know, I cover different things on different situations and I feel okay about that. And it's allowing me to, you know, push out. You know, it's just for me doing a lot of videos that got me to doing podcasts. I never did podcasting in my life. You know, I had people doing it. It was like, well, I was like, I'm nervous. You know, how, you know, I want to talk about this. And I said, you ain't got to have a whole concept. I was like, free flow with it. You know, if you got, you know, a title of what that subject want to be about with your, your podcasting. You know, just flow with it like that. I said, the only time I said it's very seldom y'all hear me, you know, say I got this written down or, you know, I pulled this up. Even if I do, I'm not going to fake the funk and say I'm not reading off of something. I'll sit up here and say, you know, um, there was a, a content or a, a subject I was supposed to talk about, but I pulled something up, you know, to make sure I don't forget anything. You know, because I'd be like, tag, you know, if I'm going off just my head and I knew there was something that was guiding me, universe said, hey, you know, pull this up so, you, you know, you can go off of that and you can, you know, you can really resonate with the subjects that, you know, we told you to go about and do it that way. You know, I keep it real. I keep it very transparent. You know, a lot of times when you're being placed on a purpose, it may take you a little bit longer, but that's okay because you don't realize the process that you're unfolding. You don't see the person that you about to be in like about 15 days, you know, or two weeks or, or, or a month or even a year, you know, and like, Rosalind, you've been doing this for six years. Yes, I've been doing it for six years, but there was a lot of things that I didn't know about myself. There was a lot of things that I still haven't healed from. There was a lot of things that I didn't have courage to speak about without having, you know, you know, uh, vengeful vibrations that I can be able to talk about. You know, there was different things that I was wanting to, you know, that universe was guiding me to talk about, but I didn't have courage to be able to do that. Because people are like, girl, you're so natural with it. There's times I get nervous. You know, if you can't tell, that's a good thing because, you know, empaths are supposed to be able to pick up on everything. But it's, it's just like so many different things I've seen where, you know, I've had people that is like booming, you know, and they were triggered by me. And I'm just like, you know. I don't speak on them names. That's how I don't bring that type of vibration on my on my platform. And I don't choose not. I choose not to. I said the people been with me for a while and know exactly who I'm talking about. And I had to allow myself to not even, you know, take that personal on what happened because I already seen that was triggering off to make me quit what I was doing. You know? And all those different things when all I did is just laugh at it, delete, gone about my business. Cause it's like when I first started, people would do that. I would make a whole video about that. I said, I'm not even, I'm at that vibration. I'm not even going to give you energy like that. I'm not about to give you that airplay in my vibrations or my words. Now, if I see something that I see that can really be damaging towards another person, because I feel what scares me is about people that are just becoming to know their empath. 
And there's a lot of different things that'll come out where you don't know if you're on that road of connecting with somebody on YouTube and they might be feeding you something that's very toxic. You know, because I've seen some folks on here that does that. You know, pe be people like Rosalind. You know, I came back to your videos because it's like you were talking about some stuff. And, you know, I really love what you were talking about. But I had to go over here and here too. But it was something about that to where it made me irritable. It made me want to rebel, you know, be rebellious. and made me want to be very evil at times. You know, because there was some people that made Hayoka hey, seem like we always turned up all the time. No. <laughs> we get turned up when it's, it's calls for it. It ain't all 24-7, 365. And there are some people that are like that. And I said, and that's the thing that scares me. But I can't force somebody like, hey, don't go over there and talk about them. Or don't go over there and, you know, go to this channel. I'm not going to do that. Now, I only did that one time when somebody was asking me for insight and trying to sit up here and say it was theirs because there are certain things that I have uh, put in prediction. And then it may have happened like a year you know, from that situation, or it may have happened a few days before that. You're like, hey, can I get that? And, you know, it's all about helping. And I'm just like, this is not how you want to start your stuff off as. But it would be just different things that would just, you know, try me in those ways and allow me to appreciate what I was doing a lot more. You know, and it shows you when you're going through things where, you know, people are, you know, uh, flagging your videos, even when you're doing something you know very very uh important or very positive you don't have people like that you know be like uh okay well you know it, it was coming from the heart when you know you were coming from the heart you weren't pinpointing who you were talking about but it was the experience that you experienced and you were guided to say something about that and then you're you know you're pushing it out you know there's gonna be certain people who are gonna be disturbed by that because they don't like the fact that you're growing they don't like the fact that you're healing you know and you, you know and it's just the fact is the devil's sending those type of things towards you to you know make you doubt yourself or go through that point where you want to give up you know and you're going to be going through that or you're going to have people that gave up on their dreams a long time ago and trying to give you insight about something like dude where your dreams at well, I ain't that, that, that. Okay, how are you gonna get? You can't sit up here and tell somebody you're trying to make a million dollar choice and you sit over here comfortable at a two thousand dollar raise. You know, you can't do that. You know, and those are the different things. It's like even when it's not being very clear to you how things may unfold to you, you this is where your strength comes from, from the challenges, from the things that show you it may, you know, it may blow up. Not in a good way. But these are those things that's like, okay. But you don't realize that a lot of times God's sending that towards you to see what you're going to stay focused on. You're going to be focused on what other people are saying. How things may look. You know, what's going on in your surroundings. Or you're going to allow yourself to look straight forward. And say, you know, this is the purpose they got me. I really don't understand where it's going. But I'm going to move. It's okay. You know, we get to that point like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to happen. You know, but these are those things that's showing you, you. You must be doing something very good, you know, for a doubt to come in or, you know, things is coming in. Because I've heard people say like, Rosalind, you know, I was telling somebody about such and such things that I really wanted to do. And they say, you know, boo, you know, you may not have had the money or the funding to be able to do that. And next thing you know, the person that you were telling has the you know have both of those things and they end up taking your stuff these are the different lessons you're learning you know when you know you're about to you know you're you're trying to mold something you're trying to bring something together you got to keep that to yourself you know and there's a lot of times that you're doing different things in your life that you're really happy about and you want to be able to express that a lot of times the energy surrounding you is not going to like that you know and they will do any and everything to try to make sure that don't happen so these are the different things where it's telling you stay on your A-game. Regardless of what's going on around you, don't never give yourself that chance. If you got to pause just for you to, you know, re, you know, how they say it, you know, and um, come together in a different way. You know, a lot of times you may not, uh, you went towards a certain direction and then it's like universe guided you into a different one. And say, you know, you got to regroup. You know, you're regrouping. And these are the things that you're being sent towards. These are the different things that, that's being placed together. But don't give up on yourself. You know, these are the different things that's coming in that's strengthening you. Because it's, it's like how I see it as is um, if it is not challenging you, you're never going to really see where your peak is at. You're not going to really see where your yin is at. You know, just like, oh, this got me. You know, and different things like that. It's like, take for instance, um, like I use my meditation 
music you know and it was one day i forgot what video i was doing one day it was just not acting right because it'll be sometimes when i first started i'll hear these different noises in the background it may sound really creepy and you know what the heck i was conjuring up like girl what's that roaring noise and that moan like Rrr. i didn't know what it was <laughs> And ever since then, I've used music in the background. Like, man, I ain't even trying to get in touch with that. And conjuring or whatever the heck that is going on. I'm not about to do that. But it's just the fact is you you are strengthening yourself when you start challenging yourself from the challenge that you that is projecting towards you. You know, if you don't have those things where it's going out of its way to hurt you, you know, you ain't going to really understand. Like, dang, you know, you're doing something that you're creating change for. When you switching up, not just with other people, but within yourself. That's that's it's gonna create a, a friction, you know. It's like ah, oh, hold up, don't folks about to uncover and tell some truth. And this I, I'm comfortable in the illusion. I don't want them talking about that. You know, you are gonna have different people that try to tell you, no, nah, you can't have it. You dreaming too big. Why are you dreaming so big like that? I'm like, shoot, I didn't know my my dreams had to have a certain size to it. I shoot, if it's as big as a walnut or big as a blimp, I want to be able to do that, and you can. You know, but this is telling you when you know you're doing something great, you're gonna always have something running against you. Always. You know, but this is that that's where that challenge comes from. This is where your strength comes on from. This is where your persistence comes from. This is what you when your faith is going through. You know, and it is just a lot of times you're going through that because something's trying to stop you. It's just like a lot of times you don't realize just the hardest challenge you're going through. It's going to make you discover something that, you know, the devil don't want you to discover. You end up discovering your power. You end up discovering that warrior in you because we're all warriors. You know, these are the things that's not for the weak. You know, the, all that little petty stuff. You know, we go through a little things and we go through big things. That's why I tell people, don't ever sleep on yourself. There will be different times. If you got to, there's some time you want success in your life, you're going to have to embrace failure a lot. Because there will be different times. You know, like I'm, I, I thought I made a good video and somebody be like, hey, Rosalind, I don't hear anything. And I'm like, God, dog. You know, I had that. It was like years ago. You know, like, Rosalind, I can't hear it. I, I mean, it was a really good video. And I was frustrated. And it was just like some, you know, my inner self was telling me, are you going to get frustrated? Maybe, you know, there was more you could add it towards that video. Because it's all about how you think. Because you can get like, ugh, it didn't work. You know, I, I put a good piece in there. I did this. I did that. And, you know, I was molding that. And I really thought it was going to work. But that challenge is, hey, it may be something that you forgot to talk about. It may be certain things that, are, you know, insight going to come to you that add towards that. So don't sit up here. And, and get frustrated because something didn't turn out right the first time. It's just telling you you're perfecting that. You're perfecting yourself. Even though we're perfect, we're imperfected of perfection. You know, it's okay to be scars and all. It's okay to have flaws and all. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes you you. But it wants you to love all that. You know? And when you're doing that, you know, there's different things. That's going to take place. You know, it's going to be people that, you know, that's just not going to like what you do. But there's going to be some people that are going to admire your courage for doing it. You know, because I tell people, you making content, you know, and they were like, Rosal, I'm a YouTuber. And the first thing I ask, what, what kind of content you're taking out? You know, what are you doing? It's like, oh, you know, I'm doing my, my tarot cards or, you know, I'm talking about the narcissistic, you know, ex you know, experiences that I've had on how I healed about that. I said, oh, okay, that's good. You know, and then I'll even, you know, just give it to them anyway because I want to see people grow. I said, hey, you know, write this down. Why don't you do this, this, and this, and that? You know, because the universe will give me insight to give them because I've had people do that with me. You know, because people are like, how you, I don't even know if we even have it anymore. But it's like when I first started back in 2016, they had sub for subs. You know, we used to have that where I'd be late at night. We all, you know, there'll be people, you know, that we would connect with and they were just subbing other people and they coming by to, you know, to check out their channel and show support just like they were doing it on this one. But I don't know if they have those anymore because I haven't seen them in a long time. But I tell people, you know, um, I always tell them the do's and don'ts on what to do on the channel. You know, different things uh, that have the different settings that you can put on there because, you know, there's people that are trolls. You know, all those different things. But, you know, whatever the venture that universe is taking you towards, you have to be able to expect the unexpected. You have to allow yourself to be comfortable being uncomfortable because it's always, you know, directing you to a new stage. 
of your vibration or is opening new doors to a new frequency they want you to welcome in. And when you're doing that, you're going to deal with a lot of challenges. You're going to deal with a lot of naysayers. You're going to deal with, sometimes you deal with your own doubt that you feel like you can't do that. You know, but that's where the weight's coming in. Like, you have to be able to believe in yourself. Because there'll be times, you know, whatever it is that you, is your weak spot, your Achilles. Universe and God is going to place you in that, you know, situation so you can level it all off. Like, your weakness can be your greatest strength. And a lot of times, it'll be stronger than the strength you already had. You know, and they want you to be able to create balance in that. Because if you don't have courage in yourself, they're going to tell you, hey, I need you to do this. Like, whoa, wait a minute, hold up. <clears throat> You know, there'll be different times where it'll be, you know, uh, they want me to be able to tell my hidden talents and stuff like that. And they'll ask me, hey, well, no, they don't ask me to tell me to direct me, hey, you need to sing a little bit. Like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, like, mm -mm. you know it's like, no, you need to go ahead and do that. And, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, I just started back singing on my intro. I, for a while, like, hey, it's rising back at you one more again. You know, because I've done it for so long, I'm like, okay, I'm going to switch up. You know, you just talk about, hey, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'm just like, nah, you know, if you want, you, you like the vibe that I give out, I shouldn't have to tell you that. You know, if you like the video, I shouldn't have to tell you to think, hit thumbs up. You're going to automatically do that anyway, you know, because it's like allowing you, you know, you, your energy is getting to that point where it's going to, you know, it's going to nurture somebody's vibrations within itself. And we're like, yeah, Rosa, I like your vibe. Well, I like the truth that you be speaking on. Or the things that have been walking around in my life was more confusing. And just for watching one or two videos, you done cleared up something I've been dealing with for the last two, three years. And that's the confirmation I got. And it's just like today, I was tired. You know, I've been keeping my grandbaby, which is the blessing of a blessing because I love her to death. You know, I'm dealing with my own, you know, healing and, you know, reflecting and challenging myself and stuff like that. And then I had, you know, I was just tired today. That's, you know, I said, shoot, I'm heating me up some tea, spill some tea, drop some tea and pick up some. You know, I'm trying to go ahead and manifest my own factory, you know. And now I'm feeling good, you know, and it's just like right, like right now, my, my daggone music done hit off. It's all right. Then come back on. <laughs> just to challenge me right there. Because that's like, like I said, I usually don't, you know, I love to have that, that, you know, that peaceful music to go into there. Because it's just like when you watch my videos, you know, I want you to be able to feel that, that vibration. It's just like when I was doing my videos in the other, uh, the other selection on how you do it. And it's like a quick, fast and hurry. I just didn't like the way it was glitching all the time and stuff like that. So I said, okay, I'm going to start doing it this way. It may take a little bit longer to come out, but it's a lot clearer. And I and that'll be okay. That was just showing me teach you patience. Can <laughs> you teach you patience? You know, it is because it may be clear for other people to do it on the other one, on the other uh, choice on doing it on uploading a video. Don't mean it's working for you. So you do what works for you. What comes out in better quality. A lot of times it's telling you patience is a virtue. A lot of things come out better when you patient. You add patience to the vibration. You get everything quick ain't good. You know, it's like they say all money ain't good money. You know, and you're going through that. So this is at that time to know if there are certain challenges that's coming up where it's filling your head with doubt. Because I tell anybody, if you ever noticed, and I want y'all to drop a comment if you can, if you feel like it. Um, when you went through your spiritual awakening, and there's a lot of people that came to me and told me this. As soon as you got awakened where it smacked you in your reality and one of them veils came off the way of, hey... You step clean out the matrix. Next thing you know, all of a sudden, it made you want to question your existence. Telling you, oh, you know, people are going to see you for who you are and they're not going to like you. You know, and telling you, you need to end your life. All these negative things was coming up. Because that was the part is they wanted you to stay in that rut. They wanted you to stay and be clueless. They wanted you to stay asleep. You know, if you, you went through that, that was all because they knew you were about to discover who you truly were. And they didn't want that. Devil didn't want that. Enemy didn't want that. Negative vibrations didn't want you to know who you were. So all that negativity was coming up telling you, oh, you better end that person's life. You see how they're acting towards you. And they're, and they're probably using the other person just to keep, you know, at you. That's what the devil wanted. He leading you to pasture and don't even realize he, he's, he's setting you up, you know, for slaughter. You know, he lead you out there. It's just like they putting a blindfold out there. They can't keep walking. Don't know they about to clean walk you off the edge. Knowing good well you don't know how to swim. You know, knowing if you see how high you are, then you know you're going to just have a heart attack within that. And that's what's going on. When you know you're going, you're going straight towards, you know, dead ends, blocks, you know, where you've got things that's just like, just not working for you. There'll be different people 
where I see you trying to make videos and you speaking on truth, all of a sudden they start getting choked up. Like, uh, uh, wait a minute. <coughs> and be like, I've been like that because the devil don't want you to speak on that. You know, D different things coming towards you. You know, it's like everybody that's doing good and is about to be in that position to project realness, project unity, projecting peace, harmony, and love. You got, just when you raising up, the devil got raising up his army too. You know, you want to stay woke. There's some people that just, you know, they want to see everything. You know, the devil convinces like sex, money, you know, power, all these different things. When you're knowing, you know, your truth is your power. Your oneness, your authenticity, you know, your realness. That's what power is. But they, he'll do those things at a low vibration to be, hey, if you do this to this person, I'll give you this. If you don't do this to that person, I'll give you that. I start seeing, you know, different things that I see. I say, uh huh, devil, I led you there, huh? There'll be different things that came out. You seeing now, you know, it, it's like judgment time. Things are getting spotlighted now. I'm like, God, dog, you hear about Cuba Good and Junior out there? I'm like, no, that's my boy. Bill Murray, well, well, you know, I heard some different stuff about him. They ain't got nothing to do with me. But it's just so many different things where people are getting challenged left and right, left and right, left and right. Rihanna, I'd be feeling bad for her because I'm like, God, dog, you know, it's like ASAP getting tied into all this different stuff. It just seems like everybody is getting challenged. They always tell you when you, it's like when uh, Will Smith even said it. And I ain't even talking about the slap and stuff like that. But the part where Denzel told him, when you get to that highest vib vibration, that's when the devil gonna come up and really start peeking, and it's bad, especially when you're when you're trying to be in peace. You know, you don't hit some different milestones in your life, and you doing good, and you know you rolling with God and not with the devil. You ain't playing, you know, you ain't playing with the dirt devil. You over here, but you you're in God's graces. There's always gonna be something that could have been your weakness, or they know that one thing that's gonna tick you off. One thing that's just gonna make you come out of face on something, and they're gonna they're gonna tempt you with that, just to see. You wanna be able to? You can be way up here, and that one action gonna knock you way down here, you know. And it's like that. But these are the different things that's gonna take place that lets you know you are doing something very good, you know. Because if you when you doing big things. The devil gonna come in all kind of shapes and sizes, so you gotta be woke. You know anything that's you know spotlighting to you, better see is this part of your world? Is it showing you an easy way out? You know, is it showing you quick money on where you need to make that at? Will God tell you to be patient? Abundance is all coming to you in all forms with their monetary value, spiritual, physical relationships, love, all that, all at one time. Or are you gonna deal with something that's gonna be quick, fast, in a hurry? Say, I'm going to take that for a no for 200 Alex. <laughs> you know you're going to be able to do that. That's why I'm telling you, be patient. You know, because you're running up on stuff and getting in it real quick. It's going to lead you, you know, you done made 20 million paces up. Just that that one quick decision because you done set up here and connected back with your ego. going to have you 10 million paces back. And it's going to make you feel like you didn't make no kind of movements because you made quick judgment on impulse decisions that really, that's what the devil wanted in you. You know, it'll be different things. You know, devil know, devil knows you. He know a lot of times he try to know you better than you know yourself. But God knows you better. You know, he will use those different situations to create stamina in you with strength. You know, just, just to keep you going. It's like, yeah, I made you face your, your worst demons into your life. Now you you and your demons are like this. It's like I got inner demons. Man, we ace boom coons. We go back like four flats. You know, cool is the freezer. You know, ice you know, ice chips in the freezer. All that. I'm good. I embrace my angels as well as my demons. We all good. You know, it's just the fact that we all get together and you approaching me and it may not be good for you. You know, it'd be one of those type of situations. But you're growing through a lot of different things. And knowing if you are not facing challenges, if things getting too hard to the point where you're ready to walk away, baby, you doing something big. You are really doing something big. And people ain't trying to throw a monkey wrench in that program on something you got to do. You got to understand. Move in silence. Make, make it seem like you clueless on every single thing. Okay? You ain't got to sit up here and announce everything that you're doing. You do that when you feel like where you got it to where it cannot be manipulated to fold on you. Then if you feel like you need to go ahead and present it to the world, you do that. But now it's just like move in silence. If you need to take a break, you do that. You ain't got to give no explanations on that. You know, I used to be over, over here. 
Well, hey, I'm telling you, for self-care. Even it could be days where I feel burned out. You know, I'm not about to tell nobody that. There's too many daggone people that are wishing the worst on me. And I'm still, I'm like, God bless you anyway. You know, and still ain't going to be able to do me because that, you know, that's helping me heal. You know, and it, it was a lot. You know, I, I used to always say, you know, I'm getting tired of my enemies. You know, why don't they, you know, it, it, life would be a better place if people mind their own business and leave mine alone. You know, you can't make people do that. I'm going to just stay focused on me. If you want to stay focused on me, okay, I'm staying focused on me too. I can't worry about all the things that's going around. You know, because I know if I'm moving fiercely and if I'm moving by saying, staying focused on what's truly important to me, that's all it's going to be. That's all it is going to matter. Uh, okay, if I can't do that. Okay, you ain't worried about it. Can I change it? No. Then why should I be worried? Shoot, this may be me a day, just a furlough day. Shoot, I'm still, you know, be at ease. You know, go ahead and do something else. You know, and do all of those different things. But it's just the fact it shows you. You're going to have challenges. Those challenges are, you know, are creating, you know, courage of character for you. You know, if it's hurting you, it's helping you. It's helping you heal. You know, it's helping you to that next level. These are things that you know, are strengthening you in ways that is makes everything possible. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Farrah Hazard. Much love to as well. Mighty Robs, Annie I, and Jamal Jackson. Much love to as well. And Lisa Bozeman. Much love to as well. If you're new to my channel, good. It's so great to have you and welcome you know drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi and um what else did i have to say oh yeah i'll leave all my contact information description box below it's all about spiritual networking just to be able to broaden your perspective if there are certain things that you would love to share with me you know and i know how hard it is to be able to come out to a person you don't know well we know spiritually it's just we getting reintroduced to each other with a whole new different character so we already know each other but it's just like certain things that you would want to you know speak on that you may not get understanding from other people and you've been guided to speak on to it about it and you want insight or just you know you just want my my vibration of what what i feel like may be going on and i do that with other people and i help out the best way i can whatever we speak on is confidential and i'll also leave my link to my podcast as well to my podcast that i do is on spotify and as well if you feel like you know generous enough to give a donation you know hey i'll leave the cash app there as well so i hope you have a blessed blessed safe day please be responsible at every single thing that you do whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i'm seeing so many helping healing vibes and prosperity vibes and abundant vibes to where it's going to overflow to where your blessings going to have you all the way up in the nose please and you're like oh my god while i'm drowning in these blessings that's okay you can swim and if you're not, you go ahead and put your life jacket on because it's going to be a lot more, you know. And go ahead and go through it. Be persistent and consistent with your inner self. You may have that vibration of wanting to give up because the blessing is coming in tomorrow. So, you know, never give up on anything you can't go a day or an hour without thinking about. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.